One thing this pandemic is teaching us in this country, if we're paying attention, is how screwed up the system really is and how this monster in the White House is making it worse and worse. This fucker is doing things behind the scenes that are just criminal, gutting the regulatory agencies. The latest thing is he's going to withhold money from the World Health Organization because he didn't like what the WHO said about the way he, although it didn't mention him, the way he fucked up the situation in the United States. This is the most vindictive little prick that I have ever fucking come across. This this Trump is worse than the little shits that I used to come in contact with when I was in fourth grade, fifth grade, seventh grade. What a bastard. What a bastard he is. This has got to stop. And if it doesn't stop soon, there's already talk that Trump is uh, uh, going to declare a national emergency and, and suspend the election. The Supreme Court is on his side. Five to four. These fuckers are determined. I'm telling you, if, 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 you, were, if you have been a participant or a supporter of this program all these years, you know I've said this before. I feel like the boy who cried wolf. I used to say this kind of some of this about George W. Bush, but this with this Nazi fucker who's in the White House now, um, anything is possible. At least Bush had some respect for the Constitution, even though he called it a goddamn piece of paper, if you'll remember. Um, But this guy, this Trump, this fascist, sick, mentally deranged fucker, and all of that is true. He's got some shit planned that's going to shock everybody. And I think part of that plan is to deny the American people the election this November. When that happens, if it does happen, this country will explode and there will be bloodshed. There will be a lot of bloodshed. Um... And, 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 and the person who controls whether or not that happens is this sick fucker in the White House. But if we don't get rid of him peacefully and legally and constitutionally in November, I, I don't know how to finish the thought. There'll be violence. It'll be hideous. It'll be horrifying. All because of a sick motherfucker who took over our government with the help of his allies in Russia. I just can't believe this. I I cannot believe that this has happened. I lived through the Cold War. And every goddamn day, there wasn't a day that went by that I wasn't pounded in my head from, I don't know, from age 10 uh, to uh, to the 80s. It wasn't pounded into my head that the Soviet Union might take over the United States. It, it wouldn't be an invasion. It would be from within. That they had already established fifth columns in this country. The fuck? I, I mean, this is what this is what I was brought up on. Knowing as I got older that about 90% of it was horseshit. It was just American propaganda. And then this fucking Trump comes along. It's no longer 90% bullshit. It's 90% true. Trump is a fascist, but he also is an agent of international fascism. Look at who his international friends are. Look at who he likes to uh, buddy up with because it makes him feel like his dick is bigger. Dictators in Saudi Arabia and and North Korea and and, um, China and uh, uh, Russia and Hungary. And uh, I mean, if the Constitution isn't followed this November, if Trump tries to pull one of his filthy fascist stunts there will be blood
Hey, Truth Seekers, while we're practicing safe social distancing, it's a great time to treat yourself with some seriously delicious, responsibly sourced coffee. Awaken to pleasure with River Moon Coffee. But don't take my word for it. Here are two recent reviews. Quote, we sell River Moon Coffee at Marine General Store, and I can't seem to keep up with customer demand. Not only is the coffee excellent, but the philosophy behind it, the careful sourcing and constant research to bring a quality product to customers, appeals to the hearts of our community. End quote. And here's one from a fellow Malloy listener. Quote, I love, love, love this coffee. I buy it in five-pound bags. I especially love the Truth Seeker blend. End quote. Sounds like they're planning ahead for the apocalypse. Anyway, support a progressive small business that supports this program. Go to MikeMalloy.com and click on the River Moon Coffee link on the main page. You'll thank me later.